So hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss a few topics related to the prism. Okay. Now, basically, I'm going to discuss this topic number three and topic number four, that is deviation without dispersion and dispersion without deviation. Okay. But to understand these three things, we need a few uh, important introduction or need to understand a few terms, right? angular dispersion and dispersive power okay now i have explained these two topics in my previous video but in case if you have missed those things i am again going to explain those things in this video okay so see if you have a prism okay now this is a prism okay now if light enters this prism then it undergoes deviation okay so this is the original path so it is getting deviated from this original path by the angle delta okay so delta is the angle of deviation okay delta is the angle of deviation now we have seen that this delta angle of deviation uh, it is related to the refractive index of the prism by the relation uh, delta is equal to a mu minus 1 where a is the uh, angle of the prism okay a is the angle of the prism now this refractive index it is related to wavelength it is inversely proportional to wavelength okay and uh, so uh, delta will be inversely proportional to wavelength okay so that means uh, for smaller wavelength deviation will be more okay so as a result uh, when white light when white light enters a prism okay if white light enters a prism then this white light has seven components okay so this violet color it undergoes maximum deviation and the red color undergoes the least deviation okay why because uh, see wavelength of violet color is less than wavelength of red color okay and deviation is inversely proportional to wavelength so that means if wavelength is more deviation will be less correct okay so this is called this is called dispersion okay so this splitting of white light into the components this is called dispersion this is called dispersion and deviation is the bending of light okay as it uh, goes through the refracting medium that is deviation okay so we are going to understand two conditions deviation without dispersion and dispersion without deviation okay Achha. now see we have defined how to define this angular dispersion angular deviation uh, dispersion it is represented by the symbol uh, theta okay now this theta angular dispersion see if uh, uh, delta v is the deviation for violet color so delta will be v will be a uh, mu v minus one. Okay. Now similarly, if delta r is the deviation for red color, so this will be a mu r minus one. Okay. See refractive index. It is dependent on wavelength. Wavelength means color. So if wavelength changes, refractive index changes. Okay. So that is why I have written here uh, mu v and mu r. Okay. Mu v and mu r. Mu v for violet and mu r wavelength refractive index in red color. Okay, Achha. so angular dispersion, how do you define this? Angular dispersion, it is defined as the difference in the deviation in the violet color and the red color. So theta, this is equal to delta V minus delta R. Okay, so that will be equal to A mu V minus mu R. Okay, so this is angular dispersion. Theta is equal to A mu V minus mu R. Okay, this is angular dispersion. Okay, Achha. now next term is dispersive power. Dispersive, dispersive power. Dispersive power denoted by the symbol omega. Okay, now dispersive power is angular dispersion angular dispersion divided by mean deviation 
mean division mean division okay now see the division is delta a mu minus 1 mean division means division by mean color Achha. now what is the mean color see v i b g y o r okay now if you take wavelength of violet color and you take wavelength of red color add them and divide by 2 so that wavelength is called the mean wavelength and that wavelength is equal to the wavelength of yellow color so yellow is also called mean color okay so mean deviation means deviation by uh, yellow color wavelength okay so angular dispersion dispersion is a mu v minus mu r and mean deviation means deviation by yellow color so that is mu y minus 1 okay so a gets cancelled so this is the expression for uh, mean and uh, this is uh, for dispersive power okay now this what is mu y mu y can be calculated as see like lambda y is mean, mean of lambda v and lambda r so mu y is mean of mu v and mu r okay so this is dispersive power dispersive power okay so now since we have understanding of uh, these two terms angular dispersion and dispersive power now let us try to understand this concept of deviation without dispersion and dispersion without deviation okay so first we will see deviation deviation without dispersion okay see dispersion is splitting of light into seven components okay so without sorry this is without so without means there is no dispersion that means splitting is not taking place but deviation is taking place okay so how is that possible see this is one prism okay and then we have another prism they are kept in contact okay just to differentiate that uh, we have two prism i am showing a gap okay but they are uh, placed like this okay they are in contact okay so this is this, this there is no space they are in contact but but to differentiate that there are two prisms i am showing like this okay so suppose white light is coming from this side okay then it is getting uh, this deviation by first prism okay then deviation by uh, second prism okay so suppose this is the deviation so this is the original path and this is the actual path so the ray is getting uh, deviated deviation is taking place but there is no dispersion means this is white light this is also white light means here white light is getting split into seven components and then this second prism is again combining those components and again it is sending the white light okay so here there is no dispersion there is no dis dispersion okay so dispersion so dispersion produced by first prism is theta 1 dispersion produced by second prism is theta 2 and no since there is no dispersion so this sum is equal to 0 okay so that means theta 1 is equal to minus theta 2 theta 1 is equal to minus theta 2 okay now what does this mean see what is theta 1 theta 1 is the dispersion by first prism so that is a mu v minus mu r and this is equal to minus a dash this is a second prism that is equal to uh, mu v dash minus mu r dash second prism will have different refractive index okay so this gives uh, a dash angular prism of the uh, second prism a dash is equal to a minus a mu v minus mu r divided by mu v dash minus mu r dash okay so what does this negative sign signifies you have this negative sign here okay so this negative sign sh uh, shows that the two prisms are placed in uh, opposite directions okay here uh, two prisms negative sign So shows that the two prisms are placed in opposite directions. 
ओके अच्छा नाउ दिस इज डिविएशन विदाउट डिस्पर्जन नाउ नेक्स्ट लेट अस सी डिस्पर्जन विदाउट डिविएशन डिस्पर्जन विदाउट डिविएशन सो दैट मींस इंसिडेंट रे एंड इमर्जेंट रे विल बी पैरेलल ओके बट इट विल बी स्प्लिट इनटू सेवन कंपोनेंट्स सो दिस इज वन प्रिज्म ओके and this is another prism this is another prism okay so this is uh, this is the incident uh, beam or ray okay so it is getting deviated okay then now but here it is emerging like this okay so this is violet this is red okay so you are getting uh, dispersion you are getting seven colors but this emergent ray and this incident ray they are parallel so there is no deviation okay so there is no deviation so deviation delta 1 deviation by first prism by plus deviation plus second prism this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 total deviation is equal to 0 okay now what is deviation by first prism that is equal to a mu minus 1 this uh, plus a dash second prism mu dash minus 1 this is equal to 0 so that gives a dash is equal to minus a mu minus 1 divided by mu dash minus 1 okay so again you have this negative sign uh, this again shows that this negative sign it shows that the two prisms are placed in opposite direction okay so this is dispersion without deviation dispersion without deviation and the previous case was deviation without dispersion so the ray is getting deviated okay so ray is getting deviated but there is no dispersion there is no splitting of light okay so these are few additional things related to uh, prism okay so this is the second video on the topic of prism discussing the theory okay so there is one uh, there will be one more video explaining the theory and then we will discuss the problems okay